The polls have just closed in Hamilton County, where voters will decide on two school referendums totaling $123 million, and both faced opposition. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet is live in Fishers with more now. Chris? And Erica, election officials told me late today that voter turnout has been light here. That was expected since there was only one question on the ballot, but voters had to make a decision whether to give schools millions of dollars to expand or to force them to live within their budgets. The signs are around Fishers and Noblesville, support and opposition to school referendums totaling $123 million. It's very needed. Much better than building other buildings and, and everything we need to expand. The biggest chunk is from Hamilton Southeastern, asking taxpayers to fund a $95 million expansion of its two high schools. The district has breezed through two referendums since 2009 worth $100 million. This should make us good for about 10 years in terms of capacity. And really, this is not about growth. This is about students that are already here. In Noblesville, the $28 million referendum would expand the high school and relocate students to a freshman campus. In Fisher's opponents call the referendum an unfair burden on a select group of taxpayers. Only homes valued at $230,000 or more will be taxed, with owners paying between $159 to $282 more per year. That's about 35% of the homeowners in the Fisher's area will share the burden for 100% of the residents. Other voters agree. I think that they should be able to uh, find another way other than putting the burden on the taxpayers. Um, they should be able to um, either go a different route or find a different funding source. Without the money, HSE says it will need portable classrooms for students and voters have a history of supporting the district. The schools need all the help they can get with all this stuff and my kids are there and I think whatever they need to do to make the schools better, it's fine with me. And the polls closed just about five minutes ago, so we should have those results coming up very shortly. Reporting live in Fishers, Chris Profit, RTV6.